Hey guys, it's Ophelia here. I have a bunch of makeup that I've never seen or heard about before. So these are all makeup products from Chinese brands. Um, I don't know why. I think ever since I went back to Japan and then I discovered some Chinese products and I just went into a downward spiral. I just went on to... You know, doing some research and I found this website that has a bunch of Chinese makeup stocked and I just ordered a lot of makeup from them. So today I'm going to do a first impression uh, video. Just hopefully we could try some of these things out right away. So this is the Shiseido Essential Energy Hydrating Cream. Uh, this was sent to me in PR. Honestly, I'm just excited to do it. I should really be using a spatula, but I just washed my hands before we started. Next up, I'm gonna go in with a lip mask from Laneige. This is just to prep my lips because honestly, guys, I bought a lot of lipsticks. <laughs> I gotta be real because some of these lip colors they look better on the website they look better in the marketing photos <laughs> but I still bought them anyway and they're still good colors it's just that I feel like if you're gonna market a product at least try your best to show the most accurate on-point color that your product is I'm going to start out with my base first this is the foundation. This is called the Long Lasting Foundation from Judy Doll. It comes in a very unique plastic bottle. It's quite cute, not gonna lie. As you can see, it's kind of runny. It's not like super thick, which is good. I mean, the coverage isn't the best, which is kind of good because it means that it still gives you a very nice natural finish without having it like full, full, full coverage. I mean, I feel like it's okay, but yeah, the coverage could be better. Uh, it's not too dry, it gives like a very nice natural semi-matte kind of finish. It's not super super dewy. These are the two concealers that I'm gonna use. And it's just because, you know, I'm not too sure what the shades are like because I'm buying from online. So, I'm probably gonna mix these both together. I feel like this Perfect Diary one is a very good color, but it's just slightly dark and I'm just going to dot it in places that I need more coverage so now I think we should go into a little loose powder again I only bought one uh, I, w I was debating to get some more but again like, I didn't want to waste too much of my money I just kind of chose one with like the coolest packaging. <laughs> the packaging of these are actually pretty pretty good. It usually comes with like a seal which I really like. Most of these products actually come very very securely sealed. They like <laughs> vacuum seal every box that these products come in. So, you know, I like that, but at the same time, it's a lot of plastic used. This is from the brand Hakuhodo. And I bought this in Japan. It's so, so soft. Uh, this is in the number G116. So, like, G116. Uh, I love using this for just, like, you know, pinpoint powdering. So, I'm just powdering in areas that I usually do, which is on my forehead my under eye so yeah i mean we got like eyeliners 
We got eyeshadows, we got liquid eyeshadows, they got uh, a good amount of stuff for me to play around with. So I'm going to show you guys what I've gotten and then we will decide what I want to try out today. I'm going to start with the item that I find the most not me packaging wise but the inside is very me. So, I bought this because it's a palette that reminds me of toys and stickers back in the days. It was just so pretty! This is from the brand Gogo Tales as well, so I'm guessing it's the same brand as the powder that I just used. Inside looks like this. Is this not me or not? This is so me. This color scheme is just me. Very different from how it looks like from the outside, but I'm loving what I see in here. The next palette is also from Gogo -Go Tales. Uh, this is called the Secret Garden Color French Romance uh, 908. I bought this just because I like the illustration on the palette. It reminds me of Diptyque. <laughs> and <laughs> so as you can see, like the outside is pretty me, but the inside is very not me. But I still buy it anyway because I do kind of sometimes feel like I need to try something basic. So I can be a bit more familiar with these colours. I don't know how to describe this, but this is a palette from this brand called Jill Lean. This is called the Multi-Use Eyeshadow Palette in 003 Cool Hearts. The back you got like, <laughs> I don't know, instructions of how to, how to use this palette. So this is what it looks like. This is what really attracted me to it. This is like a really metallic looking heart. I mean, but it doesn't really swatch very intense. I wonder how the black performs as well. <gasps> Yo. Yo, this black is black, bro. I was about to swear but... Yo, this is intense! Uh, no, I kind of want to try this But that black shocked me I wasn't expecting a black black eyeshadow from an Asian brand <laughs> It's just the fact that it's so tiny I can put in my purse I can travel with this This is exciting You saying that it's very important for me to actually try it out first and put it on the brush and then put it on my eyes because I feel like sometimes it could be deceiving. Moving on, this is probably one of the products that really caught my eye, that really made me think, wow, Chinese makeup brands knows what they're doing and they don't only just target one type of people Targeting several audiences. This is from the brand Girl Cult. But look at this beautiful UFO looking palette. This is what it looks like on the inside. This is so cool. I know it's only got four colors, but. This is good. It keeps going. I got no primer on my hand, by the way. My hand is dry. But it's like nice and even. Wow, I mean that brown. Wow, this is these are some like amazing. Wow, even the black is freaking beautiful.
So this is one of the brands that kind of put me in a downward spiral with Chinese makeup brands because this is one of the brands that I spotted when I was in Japan. Uh, this is the brand Josie. Josie? Joycey? Joycey? Actually, if you just want an easy, no-brainer makeup eye look that you just want to wear from day to day, you can have like a collection of these quads and it's just easy to use. This is in number F13 Taro Nude. This is the new nude mini quad eyeshadow. This is from the same brand, but this is in the color F04 Top Gravel. But yeah, day and night. <laughs> this is from the brand Out of Office. As you can see, you got two colors. This is called a Cut Crease Eyeshadow Duo. I don't really know how to use this because this is very pale and this is very, very sparkly. Yes, this is a glitter liner. Okay. This is very, very pretty and very, very reflective. The Cut Crease Eyeshadow. Dry down. It's very creamy though. This. <sighs> this I need to buy more of. So this is again from the brand Girl Cult as you can see. It's the same brand, same theme. It's probably the same collection. What's this? This is the green liner, so just... Just look at this! That is the smoothest... That is the smoothest, brightest, opaque, non-streaky, neon green eye pencil I've ever used. Another pencil from Girl Cult. Ah, oh, wow. This had me shook. This is a multi chrome eye pencil. Does it capture the shift in this? It's green and then it's red. Well, not red, like a copper kind of color. I'm gonna buy every single one of them. I'm gonna do that. I have some liquid eyeliners that I want to show you guys, and I am so so impressed. So let's just start off with a basic black one. So this one is from the brand Chio Chio Tour. I honestly cannot pronounce any of these brand names, but I don't know if you can see lighting wise, but it's in a heart shape. It's like a basic looking eyeliner pencil. I'm not gonna lie because it's in a heart shape. It kind of fits into my hand pretty nicely. I don't know how that's gonna work. Really nice smooth lines and the two NYX products definitely gave me a heart attack because when I swatched them I was like <sighs> a brush tip white liner. Usually Usually, the product or the liquid has to be sheer enough and light enough for it to come out or to dispense through the brush tip. So it can be something that's very thick. And given that it's white on a darker sort of like canvas, meaning your skin or your eyes or whatever, it needs to also have enough pigment to have that kind of opaque white finish which I gotta say, hands down I have not found one white liner that doesn't crack that's not too thick that goes on my eyes easy um, that stays put all day this is a brush tip by the way, this is not felt tip Jill Lean Big Brighter Eyes. Now, I've never seen a product right like this before. This is a metallic glitter eyeliner in a brush tip, not a felt tip. <sighs> so fine, and it's so light, and it doesn't feel like 
it's thick enough to crack or, or come off or anything, but it is very nice and reflective. So, so this is from the brand Color Key. This is both an eyeliner and a mascara in one. What? Genius! Eyeliner is brush tip, which is grey. It's the other side. <sighs> mascara with wands like this is perfect. And yeah, and I like the fact that it's tiny as well. Because honestly, how often do I finish a mascara? So this is very interesting. I also have this little tub that comes with it as well. I'm assuming this is a second refill for the mascara. Yeah, so because it's so tiny, you get a refill when you buy this one product. I don't know what palette to use today, but because I want to be a bit more experimental, I mean, I would know that that is a, you know, very me palette, but this with the blue might be interesting. So I might actually go for this palette today. I already have all my brushes here ready to go. We start off with this tiny singular uh, liquid shadow. This is from the brand Out of Office. I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid. Oh, it's a beautiful... It is super, super easy to blend, guys. Oh my god. I should really be using like a blending brush or something, but it's not here. The one thing that I need. <laughs> this is so easy to blend, guys. This palette right here. I'm excited. I'm going to go in with this middle color. This is another Hakuhodo makeup brush. This is in the number G5522. And I'm going to go in with this lightest beige gray kind of color. I'm just going to go around the whole area here just to soften everything up I think I'm gonna put it in a corner like right here <gasps> that is absolutely beautiful and it's very very solid this is a vibe guys oh my god I'm gonna actually use this one with my fingers, the one in the middle. I'm just gonna pat this on with my finger. Oh my god, it goes with my nail color so well. Wow, this palette is surprisingly good. I'm gonna go in with the black. Get rid of some of these pigments because I don't want fallout. So let's just. <laughs> Yo. Okay. <laughs> to blend the under eye, I want to use the same brush and I'm going to go in. Maybe a mix of these two colors. Just the tip. Just literally the tip. How are we thinking of the eyes? I'm actually quite surprised. I don't really wear this kind of blue. I'm gonna go in with a black liner first. And then
I didn't really buy a co-liner, so I'm just gonna go in with what I have. This is from Shiseido Kajal Ink Artist in Nippon Noir. So this Again, this is from Hakuhodo and G005. I'm just going to quickly smudge it. So the black covers the roots of my lashes completely. Same brush on the same um, on the same kajal from Shiseido, and I'm just going to emphasize that kind of shape. Honestly guys, I'm obsessed with this eye. I'm just gonna go in with the mascara on this double-ended thing with eyeliner and also mascara. It's great for top-ups, aren't they? I'm gonna push at the base of the lash and then drag up. Well, you can blink. Without. With. Ah, oh, what? <gasps> and this grey tone, I'm absolutely in love with this grey tone eyes with the blue. <gasps> Honestly, I can't. I love cool tones. Contour and blush. This is from the brand Juicy. I really don't know how to pronounce this, honestly. But this is in the color W02. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So, uh, you've got a contour color here. You've got a blush, a matte highlight, and a... Well, that's not a really matte highlight. This one's got like a bright, very, very fine sheen to it. And this one is like, I don't know, another matte highlighter. About more contour products. This is from the brand Hold Life in color 801 Stereo Gradient Contouring Disc. It's a gradient contour, but I think in real life, like, I can barely see a difference, but obviously on camera, and if you really look at it, it's there. I really like the color that I'm seeing right now, so, yeah. So, this is from the brand Sh Shidella? <laughs> Blush in the shade LA07. This is the packaging, super, super cute. It's not really yellow. I thought it was going to be yellow, but it's more like a bright... I think it's more like a orange, a light orange to a coral orange. I can't wait to use this. This is so cute. This is cute as well. I really like the packaging of this. This is from the brand Judy Doll, which is the same brand as the foundation that I'm wearing. This packaging is absolutely cool this is uh this is in the color zero one by the way it's got this beautiful engraving of a tiger's head and it's a beautiful color as well i got this highlighter from the brand rmt it's called the chameleon high gloss in zero seven so i guess it's like a multi-chrome highlight Oh, it's a multi-curve highlighter. I think I'm gonna go in with this gradient contour brick. With this, I'm going to be using another brush from Hakuodo. This is a very, very interesting brush. It's so cool. Oh my god. It's doing everything. So this is in the number J6051. So I'm just gonna do this. So I'm getting both of the colors. I mean, it's a very, very subtle contour. But 
But this time I'm going to swirl into the brick. But I'm going to be focused on the top of the brush. I'm using another brush from Hakodo. This is in the number G6071. Basically, I just bought loads. Well, no, not loads. I just stocked up some brushes from Hakodo when I was in Japan. Just like around here. I don't want it all the way here just because. It's a very, very natural looking blush and I really like it because back in the days, I absolutely detest wearing blush. I think I'm gonna go in with the multi-chrome highlighter. Uh, I'm gonna use this brush together with this multi-chrome. I'm scared. It's like green and pink. Anyway, we're moving on to lipsticks. I want to show you the ones that definitely stood out to me the most. Um, because some of them really does kind of shock me in a way. Um, I bought a bunch from a girl called... Again, like... Can you not with the packaging is so so cool. These are I believe they are water lip tints. And the only thing about this is that you can read what shade they are from the bottom, but you can't really see how the products actually look like within the bottle. Water tint. This is not lip gloss. This is a water tint. This is what it looks like up close. How freaking cool is this? Oh. Oh. Beautiful. This is... What is this color called? <laughs> this is like a dark grey plum. Oh, when I saw this, I was like, wait, what the... I was like, ew, what the hell is this? Why is it green and then pink? What is this? But I don't know. I just thought that this is super cool. This is like khaki kind of color, but I, I believe it changes color after a while. So these are from the brand Juicy. Interesting color, but these are not the, um, the water tint, but these are the matte mousse. And they're super natural as well. When you apply them, very comfortable to wear. Got some double-ended lip products. I love these double-ended products. So you've got a matte side and a gloss side. How cool is that? More from the same brand. I picked these up just because of the color. Let's see this. This is so fat. Got these little lipsticks from the brand Perfect Diary. Look at the packaging. This is in the color 209. I believe this is like a liquid lipstick, so it dries down matte. It's super, super thin. I got another color. This is in the color 213. I love how thin these are. Would fit in my, my, my purse really well. I got this one from Perfect Diary again. These are like really slim lipsticks. Oh, I'm so soft. Hey guys, I had a friend that just came over and she's just left and it's 2 a.m. over here. I haven't really finished the video that I started today. So um, I'm back here, but good thing about this is that I can actually see how well these makeup products have been staying on my skin. Eyeshadow is actually staying on pretty well and so is my foundation, my base and everything. Though 
I have so many that I want to wear. Uh, but yeah, I'm probably going to try one of the shade out. I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is the one with a plummy color with an iridescence to it, just because everything is very matte here. For the upper lip, I'm going to go in with this sort of like dark gray plummy kind of color. Is the blue gray smoky eye and a dark lip for me? Um, I feel young. <laughs> Don't understand how this makeup look actually brings me back to the days when I actually still look like this, but with the blue hair and everything. I am enjoying this look a lot, and I'm probably gonna wear this out some other time another choice i'm gonna do the matte side on the upper lip and the gloss on the lower lip i could wear this out every day and oh the gloss is like full pigment I should do like a proper nude color but honestly I would look at this and think that oh that's a beautiful nude on me <laughs> I've really enjoyed you know experimenting with all these makeup that I've never seen before especially new brands I've never even heard of before and for it to perform even better than what I expected that's definitely uh, very satisfying. It's giving me, you know, some extra things to look forward to or some things that I want to maybe put in my uh, makeup kit, whether it's my professional makeup kit or my personal makeup kit. Um, I think the only thing that I kind of got disappointed in is actually this lipstick here. I haven't showed you guys yet, but this is from the brand. Oh my god. This doesn't even say what the brand is, but it looks like this. Basically, this is a black lipstick. Like, it looks black. Um, well, I feel like the pigment is just not there in one swipe, but obviously if you rub it on a few more times, the pigment is really, really there. And it's not fully matte. It's still kind of sheer from what I can see. So that's the only thing I think the only product that kind of let me down a little. I feel like I'm probably going to use some of these other palettes on either Instagram or over here. If you guys prefer a more in-depth review of how these products perform and what I think about them right off the bat. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day or night anywhere you are. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll see you really, really soon. Bye!